Pheasant Productions presents the math of ESP, why it works even if you don't believe in it. Okay, um, today is, oops, um, today is the 23rd of July, we're watching an, an amusing amount of stuff going on on the internet, um, Donald Trump, again, is opening his mouth and the garbage just pours out, he has made a massive statement of, of attacking Iran and of course I think two days ago now I posted that the UN has rejected Israel's um, claim of owning Syria's Golan Heights which amusingly enough has Rothschilds, uh, Dick Cheney um, and uh, Rupert Murdoch, yeah, Fox News, uh, involved in Gini Energy, uh, they're trying to do oil exploration in Golan Heights, and the Golan Heights is a major oil field. So, needless to say, I made the comment, hey, if this happened, watch, there's going to be a reset, and there's going to be a, a, a increase of threat to war in the area, and sure enough, you know, last night, Donald Trump makes the big threat on Twitter that, you know, Iran, I'm going to attack you and blow you up if you make a single insultive comment again. Um, shows you the lack of intelligence in both Donald Trump, the elite who are so inbred that they are really, folks, stop and understand, farmers and ranchers know that you do not breed mother with son, father with daughter. You don't want to breed close cousins, second cousins, things like that, because they increase the defective genes. They become stupider from inbreeding. So, like I pointed out a while back, if, you, if you're one of those white supremacist people who thinks that only the blue bloods should be breeding with blue bloods, you might want to stop and think about, you know, 2,000 years or so, all of those have been inbreeding and they are ridiculously stupid people right now. And they do ridiculously stupid things, including kill their own planet. Um, but needless to say, the public masses are just as stupid because they are jumping up and down in, in, in the Trump-Putin circus. And that's all it is. It's a circus performance, okay? Um, Putin is an elite rich. He owns an enormous amount of money in Russia, which, you know, theoretically he threw Rothschilds out, but he has always been a part of that elite, rich Rothschild circle to begin with. Um, Donald Trump, in 1990, I noticed that, you know, the Rothschilds had picked up Trump and, and you know, were getting in his pocket and helping him out and stuff. Donald Trump just, you know, few days ago, like, you know, last week sometime, put Wilbur Ross, who was a financial advisor for the Rothschild Industries, in charge of the United States Commerce Department. Yeah, Rothschilds now runs the United States Commerce. Now, to, to, to really make this kind of interesting, and yes, I do have my little cheat sheet here, because i I got to keep these into 15 minutes, you know, so that I can get them in YouTube properly. Um, while this little circus act is going on and everybody's screaming, Oh, Trump's a Russian! Oh, the Russians are crazy! Oh, Trump's Jesus Christ! And all that kind of bickering back and forth. He said, she said, you know, you remember when you were a little kid, you know, Mommy, Mommy! Yeah, that kind of stuff, right. Um, it's, it's nothing more than a gossip circle and it is nothing more than, you know, blame the other person because you refuse to take responsibility for yourself. Stop and consider, okay? Um, the United States is getting hammered with an extreme weather front right now. Uh, from Florida to all the way up into Canada, Nova Scotia, um, there's just storm after storm after storm and you're going to have several weeks of this. There's flooding, there's towns being shut down, there's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So the whole East Coast is, is in trouble 
and nobody wants to care about that or pay attention to that or do any prevention of that or worry about the fact that instead of blowing the snot out of some country way the heck over there, maybe we should spend money over here and take care of our own selves. Um, there's wildfires burning out of control all over the West. There's all kinds of various things going on. Um, the rare and occasional and bizarre weather events are now becoming so common that most of the people are just kind of like, oh yeah, it's another one of those storms. Oh yeah, it's another one of those this is or that's or whatever. Okay, um, stop and consider. Okay, Vietnam, which is Apple products, Apple computer products assembly country. It is also a major exporter to the United States of prawns, shrimp, okay, and tilapia, and a couple other products in that department. They have just had a very massive um, cyclone, typhoon, hit them, wipe the snot out of a bunch of their country, which means a whole lot of the industry which exports to the United States to import is now in serious trouble. China is getting hit. China's had problems. Japan has been hit. Japan's got problems. The Philippines have been, of course, wiped out. Okay, so an awful lot of these countries, and on, on you know various posts and things, I have put up about this guy that off of YouTube called Ice Age Farmer, who one of the things he does is he has a map where he is showing crop failure. Okay. Um, we're halfway through the year and you have 190 some crop failures at the very least around the world and a good portion of that stuff is stuff that is imported into the United States alone. So the United States is starting to have serious food shortage because they're literally from the Rockies to the Atlantic coastline having storm after storm after storm wiping stuff out, destroying crops. The U.S. Agricultural Department puts up a thing say, oh, everything's wonderful, we're going to have a bumper crop. And you go to the comment department, and the guys, the farmers themselves, and the comments are saying, where the heck are these people getting their, their, their numbers? Half my crop is already destroyed. The hail came through and wiped out half my crop. My, my, my you know, drought and then wet and then drought and, then, and, and hot heat and all this. I, I, my, my corn's not half as high as it's supposed to be. Okay, so the farmers themselves are talking about what a bunch of BS it is. The weather channels are, are, are giving you quick little gloss overs and they are literally getting to the point where they are berating the people on YouTube that are sitting here and giving you the weather charts and showing you what the models show and telling you this is what you should be getting ready for and expecting to come up. They are literally bad-mouthing people who are doing, trying to do an honest job, not because they make huge amounts of money, not because they're corporate funded. A good portion of them collect little bits here and there, like me. You know, you want to support me, folks, you think I'm doing a good job. Hey, you know, there's a PayPal button. You click on my donate button and, and donate a couple bucks to me. You know, it, it, it goes a long ways for somebody that's a little person like me or, or, or many of these other people out there. Even Dutch, who I'm not real happy about, does his earthquake predicting, you know, forecasting, as he likes to call it. And he's got enough of an accuracy to what he's doing that, yeah, you, you know where to be warned to look for something going. Now, granted, he's the first guy that sat down with a whole entire pile of this stuff and actually started publicly putting it out. But in the 1990s, I was watching Iris and a couple of these other places and watching where, you know, earthquakes were happening and knowing where to expect other stuff to come up. So he, he hasn't developed any new stuff. He's not the most intelligent thing. He is just simply somebody who's put it together and commercialized it and, you know, and makes basically his living off of doing this now. And he's got followers worldwide that are, are thanking him for being correct and warning them to be ready. Okay, so all this stuff is actually getting censored. Donald Trump has given the EPA to the oil companies. He removed Pruitt and he put another oil company man in, in place of him. Yeah, no, there, was, no, there was nothing there. But hey, the circus is fine because we got a new clown in front of us. He gave the FDA, your Food and Drug Administration, to big pharma people who have been poisoning you for, for decades and decades and decades. 
you know. And, and, you know, so these people are obviously not going to tell you about what's going on. So, you're, again, you have to go back to these little people, you know, these little independent individual journalists, independent journalists all over the world, who are telling you what's going on. Okay? So, you know, you got, you got your whole world going up in flames. Like, they, like you know, the old joke about Rome. Nero's fiddling while Rome burns. Yeah, well, you know, Trump and Putin you know, are putting on a circus act for you while you, your whole world literally burns down. All of your imports are going down. All of your food supplies are going down. And, and you've got this whole thing going on. You've got a couple of things coming up about some different viruses popping up. You've got different things coming up in the news feeds and stuff of, you know, algae blooms that are producing toxins in the water that are deadly to the sea life, the plant life, the, you know, the, the water life that's around there, as well as human beings that get into this water, okay? And it's going on from all the way from, you know, down the coast, you know, down in Florida, all the way up to the Great Lakes, and if you watch, the, you know, if you're watching some of these independent people, they're telling you about it happening in India and Africa and, and Europe and China and all this. So they're, they're they're literally censoring you down. And of course, oh yeah, that's right. Trump just handed the FCC over a couple over to a couple of the multinational uh, U.S. corporations that you know, own your your major news networks so they are censoring everything that's going on and everything that can go on and they are keeping everybody as closed down as possible. Um, you know, you're also, you've got, you've got things like Julian, you know, being shut down and, and literally the person that he has criminal charges on is demanding that, you know, Julian be extradited to them so that they can try him for crimes of him exposing the criminals. And the American people are, oh yeah, 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 Julian's a, Julian's a bad person, bad person, you know. So the criminals should definitely punish the good guys. So yeah, we are still in this era of whistleblowers, honest people, are extremely horrible, bad, dirty people, and all the rest of, you know, the rest of what's going on. And then on top of everything else, and remember what I've been talking about here and here, down here, this, this SO2 emissions type of thing, um, you're in a planetary alignment for the next, I guess there's a lot, probably like another 50 days or so of it left, where you've kind of got a bunch of the planets all on one side of the Earth, and whatever else you have, historically, there has been an increase in volcanoes, an increase in earthquakes, and, you know, and an increase in weather events during that time. And you're moving into areas and stuff going on that are extreme and going to cause some major problems. And of course, everybody's, shh, don't talk about reality. Put your rose-colored glasses on and pretend it doesn't happen. Take your happy pills from the big pharmacies. Pretend everything's okay and fine. So yeah, the circus goes on. And all of the other stuff is happening. And let's see, what have I missed here or anything? Um, pretty much got most of that. Oh yeah, you know, and, and like I was saying, with, the, with this, you know, we're up to like 47, 48 volca volcanoes that we know of up on continents. There is nobody who is watching or counting how many undersea vents are opening up. There's nobody talking about how many undersea volcanoes might be erupting or, and stuff like this. And some of those are so far down, they know you're never going to see anything coming up to the surface on it. But they are acidifying your ocean. Your ocean is totally out of control. Okay? There are events going on in the oceans that are showing that are, there are extreme changes in the currents as the temperatures of the oceans are changing and nobody anywhere is really making any big notice of it except us little independent guys. So think about it folks, is the circus act that great that you're willing to commit suicide for it? Because that's what you're doing, okay? So like I said, July 23rd, quick little update, poof, I don't need it anymore. So keep thinking, do it. It's a lot better than sitting around and twiddling your thumbs.